Hello and welcome. Um, we're going to do something slightly different tonight. We're going to look at a sound set, patch library for Omnisphere. This one is Hollow Sound Delight 3 by Joseph Hollow. Um, you'll find it on the sound.artnouveau.com website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And it's a patch library of 162 patches and 12 multi instruments. I'll just read a little bit from the website just to give you an idea what it is. It's after two years of new inspirations, Delight 3 is here for the lovers of lyrical, ethereal, mystical, emotional, evolving, soft, airy and transparent pads, strings and voxes. And if you've played around with Delight 1 and 2, you're in for a treat because it's uh, it's another cracking sound set. And the two, I can't believe it's two years ago since Delight 2 came was out. Time flies, but it was worth the wait and um, he's definitely come up with some uh, wonderful textures on this one so without further ado we're going to have a quick flick through some of these patches so you get a feel for what it is and where better to start than at the very beginning and that is with an arpeggiated sound of between the two of us and you'll see and i'll move my mouse around it um in the if you default to different screens because you can set up a default starting screen in Omnisphere so if your default isn't main I suggest you go to main when you look through these sounds because you get instructions of what parameters do change the sound a bit so MW is your mod wheel so it says the other so let's see what it means by the other so this is without the mod wheel So a nice airy arpeggiation. Now if I bring the mod wheel up, get a bit stronger character. Like it says, a weaker and a bit stronger characters are playing here. So your character changes. Now this is an next one's really interesting. It's bubbles rising. Now you start off with an arpeggiated sound and you can turn it into like a, an ethereal pad, which is really clever. So there's your bubbles rising. But as I raise the mod wheel, you get a very faint ethereal pad. And then you can mix your bubbles back in. Best of it, you've got after touch, 80s after touch. So if I gives a pad a filter, so a lot going on there. And we have uh, let's go for octaves bouncing. There's another one, and it's a dirty trick arpeggio to give six eighths. So play two or three notes. So that's what we'll do three notes. So we'll raise the mod wheel, like it says, softens it. And now we'll pitch bend down. And we go tiptoe quiet. So that's a novel use of pitch bend to actually filter it to do something other than a pitch bend. Quite interesting. Now we can then go to let's get some of the more arpeggiated bits out. So BL stands for belly bass line. So we'll go for uh, synth wave steady, and it does what it says on the tin really. A steady boom, 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 boom. Add a bit of slap by raising your mod wheel. Now, if you're thinking, hang on a second, he's he's not touching anything with his mod wheel. It's because I got a pedal underneath that's attached to. Uh, change the mod wheel because many times you're doing compositions and you want to add a bit of um, change the filter or something so you link it to a mod wheel and it's, you don't have a free hand because you're using both hands to play so I've got a link to a pedal which is really 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 handy and I suggest if you haven't done that do it you, you this just opens another whole world for you um, and if we go to 
we'll go to this one. This this has got an awful lot going on here. You got mod wheel do the cut off frequency, low pass, high pass. You got pitch bend, does something else. Breath control and the after touch does anything. Now I haven't got a breath control set up, but uh, I'm thinking this is breath control uh, after touch. It'll, it'll let you do either. Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. After touch gives you tube distortion. Now the good, the good thing with these bass lines is, if you think, hang on a second, I want this rhythm on the bass. So all you need to go is to the arpeggiator. Um, oop, let's just reload that again. My mouse jumped. Arpeggiator. Uh, sorry, wrong one. Arpeggiator presets. Come on, it's not happening tonight. Copy arpeggiator preset. So what it'll do is it'll copy this preset. And then you go to... Uh, where were we? This one. And then you click on arpeggiator preset again and paste it. And lo and behold, you now have the arpeggiator pattern for between the two of us on sim bass rolling. That sounded a bit daft punkish, that. Uh, I think Tron soundtrack. Um, it's got very strong vibes of that, that that particular thing. So there you go. That's how you can mix and match your arpeggiator. So you can get your bass line to match the same pattern as an arpeggiator. It's, uh, it's a handy thing to do. And then you can have your own bass instead. You can have you've got normal bass sounds. Or like that. And then we have BPMs. So they sort of give you dun 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 pulses. These are slightly different to arpeggiations. And again, the mod wheel, pitch bend. all sorts and the very good thing about this is you've actually got drum tracks on a preset which is brilliant now that's perfect for your ambient sound tracks this this one I really like it's A fantastic. That's just a mod wheel doing a high pass on that. And it sounds brilliant. Then you can have a uh, light bulb and kicks groove. Mod wheel amplifies your kick a bit more. This is pitch bend up, it's light bulbs. That's your mallets. So there we go. You can have you design your own drum tracks here. Quite handy. You've got wonderful FX sweeps and crashes. So we've got a hits menu. Now these are quite nice. ambient pizza and there was one on here that I, I came across which is really nice human piano this I do like so wonderful 
It's, it reminds me of a sort of like Jar Zoo look. <laughs> That was zoo look, it was just me messing around. But it's really nice sound. Um, oscillate, can't even speak now. Mod wheel removes oscillator two. So it removes the more percussive layer of that. So you've got more of a pad sound. Um, popping piano. If you hear any sound in the background, it's because I've got the window open and there's a child across the road playing on one of those wonderful kazoo type instruments. It's nothing to do with the sound with the uh, patch library. So if you hear that, then that's what it is. And if he carries on, please don't. <laughs> So that's like a percussive DX7 type percussive piano. And then we go to some leads. I'm not going to go through every single sound, so let's just give you a feel of the library. I do like these exotic emotive leads. That's got like an oriental feel to it for some reason. Now those old enough may remember um, a fantasy film called Legend. Uh, the soundtrack was done by Tangerine Dream and it just gives me that type of vibe. It's, uh... Really, really, really nice. Um, let's do some pads. A patch library is not a patch library if you don't have some pads, especially if it's an ambient library. Jupiter Dream. Nice, it's quite heavy on the CPU, you can hear a bit of crackling. Um, I've got my buffer set at 128 um, and it's a quite a beefy i9 processor in there but it's certainly making it crackle so um, what I suggest is if you do get something like that is because Omnisphere isn't set up for multi-core for some bizarre strange reason this day and age just instantiate a new synthesizer because then it bangs it onto another core especially if you're in um, the Cubase which is what I use it just puts it onto a different core and it relieves the load a bit more now this is a very retro now there's something I want to move on to you've got some plucks here now these these are gorgeous these all your soundscape styles, drones. I suggest if you can't hear that, you need to put some headphones on because it's beautiful undertone, deepness to that. Uh, floats on the surface. That is a fantastic backdrop. Either for an opening or just to literally hold that chord down in the key and play over the top of it for the whole 32 bars of a track. It just moves all by itself. Uh, what else we got? Cy... Cy... Come on. Put my teeth in. Cyborg Town Midnight. Oh, that's nice. 
Now, sequence. Jean-Michel Jarre, Tangerine Dream Loop, basically. This is, if you ever heard Zero Gravity by Jarre, Tangerine Dream, um, this is what inspired this particular patch. Um, Jean-Michel Jarre, you got it. It's got to be John Miguel's job with JMJ and Vince Clark. If you've ever listened to the Electronica album one and two by Jar, he does a collaboration with all sorts of electronic artists. If you've not heard it, I suggest you go out there, listen to it, get it up on Spotify, go and buy the album. It's a fantastic compendium, it really is. We know what this one is off. Oxygen 4. Now, this uses the ARP, and I've still got that arpeggiator is still in memory. So what I need to do is, if I say, paste ARP preset, and I need to slow that down a bit. few more things to look at but it's definitely likely worth picking up so we've also got these um, transition sounds as well which help you move from one particular uh, piece of music to, to the next gated impacts that's going to be really useful that to move between two sections of music got a swoosh so different tone swoosh wherever you move, play on the keyboard. But cleverly all last the same length of time, so that's, that's handy. Um, we've got these Vox Mail. Ooh. It's not what you thought it was going to say, it's, ooh, it's, it's more of a choral, it's not a caveman. Ooh. Hollow Sound Delight 3 by Joseph Hollow. Uh, currently priced at $35. Uh, and I certainly recommend you pick this one up. There will be a video going up shortly that will be a track made solely with this patch library. Uh, it might not be until sort of middle of next week, but there will be um, a demonstration of what this library can do for an ambient piece of music. So keep your ears peeled for that. And you can do that by subscribing to my channel dinging the bell in the top corner there and be notified of when the upload happens so if you enjoyed this walkthrough um comment below go and pay uh joseph hollow a visit and buy the patch library for omnisphere and i'll see you on the other side